Hello, this is Christy Falk with Create with Christy. I'm here with a card that my ladies are going to make next week at my celebration stamp camp. And I just had to use the So Hoppy Together stamp set. And the only way you can get this stamp set is to place a $50 order before shipping and tax. And you can pick this one as your free celebration item. And isn't this just adorable? I just love this stamp set. It's so cute. Those frog, those eyeballs on those frogs are just gorgeous. They're just cute. <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and get started. So this is going to, it's a pretty simple card and we're going to be using Stampin' Blends. I've been using my blends a lot here lately. And this embossing folder here is called Petal Burst and it's in the annual catalog. And so is the leaf uh, ribbon I've got here. And this is the Granny Apple uh, Grove, I'm sorry, Granny Apple Green Textured Weave Ribbon. And I love that ribbon too. And the Designer Series Paper is from the Animal Expedition Designer Series paper, and that's also in the annual catalog. So everything I've used is from the annual catalog except for the stamp set, and that's a celebration set. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to grab a piece of Whisper White. This is one and three quarter by four. And I'm going to stamp my little frog on his unicycle. I'm going to use the Tuxedo Black Memento. Get that good and inked up. And I'm going to stamp him close to the top, not all the way to the top, because I want to leave some room for my greeting. So kind of get him centered in there pretty good, near the top. Hold him down a little bit. There he is. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp the greeting, and it says, you can do anything. I thought that was a perfect greeting for this guy. Because you don't normally see a frog on a unicycle. <laughs> there we go. And that was with uh, Call Me Clover. And it's a um, in color, new in color from this year, so it'll be available till uh, 2020. Okay, now I'm going to take my Color Me Clover Stampin' Blends, and I'm going to color in um, all the little dark, the areas I want to be dark with the dark uh, call, call Me Clover. Let's kind of do these lines here, a little bit under his uh, mouth because you know how frogs, um, their mouths come out a little bit. So I thought needs to have a little bit of a shadow underneath there. So any place where I think it needs to be dark, I'm going to use the dark one. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to color his whole body with a light Call Me Clover. I'm even going to do his tummy with the light one, and then I'll show you how to get the lighter version of that. And make sure that you go over the dark areas again too, because you want those to blend in. Okay, he's pretty much colored in. Now, I didn't want his little tummy to look the same green as the rest of his body. But I want it to be a little lighter. So I'm going to get, bring my color, uh, this is called a color lifter. And it's going to lighten that up for me. I don't have to use a lot. I'm just going to go ahead and go over it once. And the trick with this is, if you want it even lighter, you let it dry for a little bit so it soaks in. As you can see, it's already it's starting to lighten up as the longer I'm off of it. I want a little bit lighter, so I'm going to go ahead and do the color lifter again. As you can see, it's getting lighter and lighter. And that looks pretty good. And it'll even lighten up a little more as I go. So isn't that neat? That's a neat way to get its, uh, another sh uh, shade of the same color. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my basic black uh, Stampin' Blends. And this time I'm not going to be using blending with these. I just want the two different shades of black. So what I'm going to do, I want this to be the lighter one. I'm going to use the blunt end on this one. I like having two different ends. So I want this one to be a little lighter. So I'm going to color everything in. I want to be the lighter black. Okay, that's everything. I want to be the lighter black. Now I'm going to do the rest of it, including the tires, with the dark black. Okay, that looks pretty good. So he's all colored in now. Now it's just putting the card together. So I'm going to take a piece of um, Call Me Clover. This is 1 and 7 eighths by 4 and 1 eighths. Bring my snail in. Get them centered right in that Call Me Clover. I love this green. such a bright, cheery green. And then I'm going to 
I'm at it again on some crumb cake. This is two and one eighth by four and three eighths. So since this is such a narrow end, I'm just going to put it all the way across and then just cut a little here. That's all you need. You don't need to cover up um, your paper whenever you use snail because it stays on with no problem just with what a little bit I used. So that's ready to go. Now I'm going to bring in a piece of lemon lime twist. This is also an end color, but this is one that will be ending here uh, in uh, the end of May of this year. But um, I also use the Petal Burst Embossing Folder. And so I've already embossed it, but I'm going to show you real quick what the sandwich is. You take your Big Shot Platform standard cutting pad. You put the paper, your cardstock in the folder, and then you put another standard, standard cutting pad on top and run it through your Big Shot. And you always do it fold first. That protects your folder. But I've already done that, so I don't need to lug my Big Shot over here. And then I'm going to take a piece of the Animal Expedition Designer Series paper, and I thought the frog paper that's in that uh, pack is perfect for this. So this is a 4 inch by 2 inch piece. I'm going to attach it to the bottom of this lemon lime twist. It's right across the bottom. Okay. And now I'm going to put some ribbon around it. This is the Granny Apple Green Textured Weave Ribbon from the uh, annual catalog, and this is a six inch piece. I'm just gonna put a little bit of snail on each end, and I'm gonna wrap it across the top of the Designer Series paper. DSP for short. So if you ever see DSP anywhere, that's what it means, Designer Series paper. Okay, so now the ribbon ends are attached to the back. And now I'm gonna take this leaf ribbon that's also in the annual catalog and it's just going to go right on top of the ribbon like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, some snail on top of this. Make sure it's I've got it covered really well because I want it to hold on to this for me. So I'm just making sure that the strip actually is like the stem of the leaves is right along the top of the ribbon. So that way I've got leaves that are on top, oops, and leaves are on, on um, the actual ribbon itself. So there we go. Turn this over, make sure I get it on the adhesive, and that snail will hold it in place. So that's how you do that. And see, I've got this one kind of sticking out, looks kind of funny. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and bring that down here. I'm going to put a little snail here. You can do that, or you can even cut it off. But there we go. I think that looks better having that hidden. So there's that. Now I'm going to take a piece of crumb cake. It's eight and a half by five and a half. Fold it in half like we always do to make a card base. You can score it ahead of time, but with our regular card stock, you really don't need to. I go ahead and just fold it in half, and I use my bone folder to get that sharp crease. Now that the ribbon is on there, I can put it on the card base. That's one thing that's oh, forgotten a lot. I do it all the time. I'm putting ribbon on and then I attach the paper before I get it uh, get the ribbon on. So you always want to make sure the ribbon gets wrapped around first. And then you center that on the card base. Now I'm going to bring my frog in and I wanted him to be popped up a little bit. I always like using Stampin' Dimensionals. And these are the, our regular Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm just going to put one in each corner. Oops. And because this is so long, I'm going to go ahead and put one here and here too, so that it'll support that long side. You take the paper backing off. And then we're gonna put him right here on the left side. And that's it. He's all done, isn't it cute? <laughs> So if you're interested in this, getting the stamp set, you can place an order with me at, on my blog. It's www.createwithchristy.com. You just click shop now. And if you place a $50 order before shipping and tax, you can pick this free. And also, ordering from me, I've got my doily rewards program. So that $50 order will also earn you a doily. And when you collect 10 doilies, you'll get um, a free shopping spree on me, a free $50 shopping spree. And I'll even pay the shipping and tax. 
Now, if it's just a $50 order, make sure you use this month's host code. If you don't use the host code, you don't earn a doily, so you have to use the host code. And there's sometimes you don't have to. If it's a $150 order or more, you don't have to use the host code. You'll still earn doilies, but you'll also get the Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up. So I've got the link down below so you can learn all the details about my doily rewards program. Make sure you click on that before you order so you can get your rewards. I just want to do that for all my customers and thank them for their business because I really appreciate it. And if you want to be notified every time I make a video on my YouTube channel, just subscribe below and you'll get notified every time I do. And I've also got Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook uh, pages you can follow too, and those links are below too. I hope you enjoy today's card. Have a good day.